The National Center for Health Statistics reported a 3.7 percent increase in suicides from 2016 to 2017, which dropped the U.S.'s life expectancy to 78.6 years. A lot of patients that we see um, have con both have dual diagnoses, so they have both mental health disorders, so depression, suicidal ideation, psychosis, schizophrenia, and a lot of those patients also have concurrent substance use disorders. There are many signs to tell if someone you love may be struggling. There are obvious signs such as a decrease in self-care, but posts to media sites and text messages could be a cry for help. So we, we look for things like, um, you know, withdrawing from your family. Um, we see text messages that get, you know, especially uh, they you send text messages to family that are a little bit concerning social media posts. We're seeing a lot of that these days where patients post things on social media that your family picks up on. And if you believe someone is struggling, Dr. Kambampati says the first step is to open up to them. What I think is important is that you have an honest conversation with your loved one to say, look, I, I know you very well. What's been going on for the last, what, week, two weeks, two months? You know, normally you're pretty happy, you're, you know, you come to our gatherings, you, you're you always answering your phone, but I've noticed over the last two weeks and having uh, that, you're, that your posts have become much darker and having honest, open conversations uh, with your loved ones I think is the best initial treatment. Reporting, Parker Tully, Eyewitness News.